Hey, Joey T and the Snob. I'm going to do another episode. This is almost uh, Christmas time and haven't done one for a few uh, few months here. And thought we would do a... Um, had some nice uh, steak today. And I opened up a bottle of this Eagle Trace 2009. It's what's called a... Uh, it's a Bordeaux blend, as they would say, um, in... Uh, California, we would call it a meritage, like heritage, and I did talk about that back in uh, episode number 13, so why don't you uh, go back in the history of Joey T and a Snob and pull up episode 13. Uh, so Eagle Trace, this is Latitude 38, that's the name of their wine, and the reason why they they call this Latitude 38, and I'll uh, refer to my notes here because there's some technical things here. And it says that Latitude 38 means if you go to Latitude 38 degrees, 30 minutes north, and Longitude 122 degrees, 122 degrees, um, 22 or 24 minutes west, you'll be in the center of the right place, which is the center of their vineyards. And so um, they're very proud of, Eagle Trace very proud of this wine. This is, as I mentioned, a Porto blend or a Meritage. 53% um, Cabernet Sauvignon, 29% um, Merlot, and 18% Cab Franc. So um, let's give this a whirl. I, I actually have a little mini decanter here. I actually did open this about an hour ago. It's a little tight, which um, needed to open. And so um, it, it's actually really smoothed out. And if you read the reviews online, everybody says it's, um, it's, it's drinkable now. It's drinkable today. Um, if you if you um, you know try it, you'll probably see right away that it was a little tight. Needed to open up. Um, it has a very nice um, bouquet or a, a nose, a nice nose to it. It's fourteen point three percent alcohol. Again, just a tad on the high side, but it's well balanced. It's a well balanced wine. It ranges in the mid to upper 30s. Um, when you do taste, um, you, you certainly have a bouquet of flowers. And that would be the Cab Franc coming through. Again, that's 18% Cab Franc. Um, traditionally, um, if, you, if you have a kind of 100% Cab Franc from, from France, you're going to you're going to get a lot of the, that flowerly, flowerly um, uh, bouquet. Um, from California, though, I don't usually get that uh, from Cap Franc. Um, but, so this is very traditional. Now, when we do say a Bordeaux blend, um, there's, there's five to six blending grapes. And you have your traditional Cabernet, Merlot, Cab Franc, which are all in here. And then you're going to get Petit Verdot and Malbec. And then there's a couple of unknown, and so this is a money maker. You can kind of take some money off your friends on this one. So Caminar um, is, a, is another um, blending grape. And that's usually the six that people talk about. But I just learned this today. There's a couple others. Gross Verdot. And I'll probably um, not say this right. San Mascari. Um, two grapes that were probably maybe, you know, distinct or distinct, I should say. Um, and they're uh, kind of have been resurrected. So... Um, I may try to go hunt those two grapes down. It, fun with wine. Joey Tina Snap. Fun with wine. And hopefully you're having fun um, listening to me talk about Eagle Trace 2009, Latitude 38. Again, it's a Bordeaux blend. 
and a, um, as we would call it, a meritage, like heritage, not meritage. And if you say meritage, you wouldn't be a snob. So um, let's say it right together, meritage. Um, if uh, hope you enjoyed uh, listening to Joey T and the Snob today. If you uh, have any questions or uh, something that you would like me to to take a look at, please send me a note, Joey underscore underscore T at hotmail dot com. Hit the like button, and uh, I'll come back at you with a uh, another wine, maybe right around Christmas time. So. Um, hope you had fun today. I'm enjoying the night as uh, we're supposed to get 10 inches today. And um, we will come back at you shortly. You have a good night.